seems like the same pattern has happened uh, the last uh, you know, three games, this being the fourth game where we've played well enough, we've done some, we've done some good things, but haven't found a way you know, to get the win. And at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're, it's about going through the process the right way and you know, sticking to the process, but the measurement is also when the loss, and our guys know that. And, you know, so we've got to get over that hump, and everyone's got to pull together and get the win. So, uh, you know, it's not good enough just to say, hey, we play hard in the third period, we played well in the first, played hard in the third, a real good push in third, and we just couldn't, you know, we had chances, couldn't get the equalizer because the second period we just didn't play well enough. Uh, and you can't give up three goals in a period, even though two are on the power play. You can't give up those goals and, uh, and expect to win against a big club. So, you know, our, our focus is, you know, hey, we got to go back at it tomorrow. We have a chance to, to play another another game against a quality opponent, and you know we just got to stick to what we need to do well for 60 minutes and focus in on that, and, and realize that every play, every shift matters and counts. Uh, it's certainly not uh, the start that we wanted, but we almost have to just park our start and just start. Hey, get the first win, and we move forward from here. Uh, there's some good things that I saw, but there's some things that we uh, that we need to get better at in order to beat a quality opponent. Uh, much like a week ago, it seemed like you guys were going to pull through and tie that game late in the game. Did you have that feeling on the bench? Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, we got the goalie up when it was a six on four, and all the comments because I thought we moved the puck pretty well in the power play. We scored obviously on a five on three. And we had a couple good chances. I thought in the third period we were we were tearing the play. You know, we shot a eleven to seven in that in that third period, and and I thought the play was more down in their zone in the third period. So. Uh, you know, all the confidence that we're going to get one. And then, you know, I was kind of thinking about a game last year in the year, um, or midway through the year in our league, where we scored, tied up in the end of, you know, regulation, then won in overtime. And because you know, the momentum, if we get that, it's on our side. And we just couldn't convert and had some chances and we just wouldn't go. Kevin Wall was finally able to score his first goal of the season. What does this mean for the attack going forward when you, when you have a guy who's as integral to your uh, attacking plan as Kevin Wise to be able to have that monkey off his back and, and feel good and not be as frustrated with it. It's not going to Yeah. Well, the, the good news is he had a lot of chances, right? And he had some chances earlier in the in the game and you know couldn't deposit it. So it was nice that he got it was a dirty goal. It was at the net front, right? And he just jammed away at it and he was able to uh, you know to get it in. And Hedges made a nice play by bringing it to the net. So that's what, how we want to play. We want to get pucks to the net. And, you know, so from my end, he had a lot of chances, a lot of looks. And you're hoping that this opens the floodgates now for him. Uh, we certainly need him and you know, some tool and some other guys to you know to score and, and they're getting looks now. We gotta we gotta convert. We gotta make more hockey plays in around the net. We're not making enough hockey plays around the net when we have some two on ones and quick two on ones. 